everyone, it's Julia. I'm working on a long sleeve t-shirt today. This is a color comfort t-shirt and I'll link it down below for you. There is an, and you can find them on Amazon. Um, the first thing I do with these is I make that crease down the center with my iron. Now these are a long sleeve t-shirt and a wonderful weight. They're just a nice heavy cotton. I'm first of all taking that hem off. That is going to be my my drawstring. So I'm cutting right above the stitching line. There isn't any side seams in this t-shirt and so I just kind of started on the, at the side, what I thought would be the side. Um, and I'm cutting like approximately two inches of that off. And then I just gently give this a tug because I want it to grow it a little bit for the drawstring. Made a couple marks with my pen and then I'm going to put this on the inside right at that raw edge there and centering it right in the middle. That's why that crease is so handy. Just centering that and then I'm adding a couple pins. Now I'm taking my crop a dial and I'm just punching a hole right over those that mark dot that I made. Now the crop a dial is made for paper so it, it, it'll punch a hole but it doesn't take care of the excess fabric on the back side and so I'm just going to take my scissor and I'm going to clip that. If you don't have a crop a dial you can also just cut little holes maybe just carefully cut little holes with your scissor. Now it's off to my sewing machine and I'm going to stitch around this little piece and then I'm going to use my free motion and I'm going to go around and around on those those holes and you'll see that for this you, 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 you can even stitch it with your regular stitching. I'm using free motion on this. Um, I like the free motion foot for all of it because when I do my little circles I don't have to change out my foot. You can see me going around and around with that and it'll just kind of keep those circles from fraying anymore. Now I'm adding my drawstring. I add my drawstring before I sew up my casing or my hem on these. Just, it just saves a step. I don't have to insert it later. Um, and I just knotted the end, ends there. And so now I'm just wrapping my hem around that drawstring. And I'm going to add a couple pins here before I go to the sewing machine. And I don't do all the hem, just, just to start it off. It's so handy to to do it this way and turn the raw or the the inside of my shirt out like this, because now I can just gently um, stretch this and it will automatically curl, and so my hem is not a raw edge at all. It's just a real slick way. I um, it's just an easy way of doing this on this this t-shirt fabric. You just want to make make sure you don't catch that drawstring when you're sewing. Um, and now it's complete and that drawstring, like I said, is all encased. And we're ready for the embellishment on this t-shirt. I'm going with this Midwest design. Um, this will be in my summer shop and I'm in Minnesota so it's just kind of very fitting. And I'm going to flip this design over and I'm going to trace it from the back side. I just did this design in, a, in my Canva um, program. I have a trace now and I'm just ironing it onto my back of my fabric. I used Heat and Bond Light and again I'll link all those products down below. I just traced it on Heat and Bond Light. Um, and I had this really pretty floral fabric and it had a little bit of that yellow in it. I just thought it looked summery and just kind of a, a fun fabric. I use my ruler there just even with the armpits you can kind of see just so I'm making it get nice and straight and again I'm using that creased in the center so I'm making sure that W is right on that crease just to take some would get it straight. Added a little one of those little flowers I cut out from this fabric and added it on the eye just thought that was kind of cute. And now I'm going to take some stamps and I'm just stamping the word gal. Uh, I think this stamp set is discontinued but I'll link it down below. I did find it in a couple different places so you might it still might be available. It is a Tim Holtz um, stamp 
and I'm using archival ink and I'll link that too this is espresso so it's the dark brown and I'll link that down below as well these are washable so are there they're permanent um, waterproof inks which is wonderful for fabric and I stamped it on like a primitive muslin so it has like a yellowed look to it and I'm just adding heat and bond light again on the back side of it that really helps to have that heat and bond on the back um, when you're stitching um, it just keeps the stitches a lot more even it doesn't pucker them or do any weird thing so I'm going to add that and then I'm going to add another little flower just getting it where I want it and then I'll press that into 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 where I press press that down before I take it to my sewing machine found this thread that's multi variegated I'm going to use that it has like a pink and yellow variegation to it before I sew this now I'm going to stick some this is just like a tearaway um, stabilizer I want it one thing with I don't usually do this if I'm sewing on a sweatshirt but a t-shirt you, you really it's really it's really nice it just keeps the stitches um, from not puckering and keeps them a little bit more even so I'm just going to lay this in between my layers making sure that I'm I'm covering everything I can just feel that it's that everything you know that that that's all back where I need it and then I'll add a couple pins before I take this to my sewing machine I have my feed dogs dropped and my, and my free motion foot on and for the flower I'm just going to go around the center a couple times and then I'm going to outline the little petals. I love free motion stitching because it's like drawing with your thread and you can just add little details like this. And now I'm going back and forth. I, I like doing this for especially when you have a multicolored thread on it just really makes a bold outline and just like I said going back and forth and I'm going to do the same with the letters I'm just outlining the letters but I'm going back and forth just to just to make a little bit more of a bold um, look to it When I'm done with this, I will remove that stabilizer um, just by gently tearing it away from my letters. And here's some pictures at the end. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you give this a try. Um, it really does add some, just some style that drawstring really adds. Um, bye for now, everybody. I hope you have a chance to create this week.